a special agent who seeks to save the roughly 500 Chinese workers at the Udom Chinese oil refinery from an onslaught of insurgents. Chris Van Horn and Luo eventually collaborate, and Van Horn is coping with a significant personal loss. The plot of the movie revolves around John Cena's and Jackie Chan's efforts to prevent the rebels from carrying out their evil scheme. So let's break down the movie ending and recap of the movie. Just let you know. Spoilers ahead. In the opening scene of Hidden Strike, Dragon Luo and his team of agents arrive at the Udom Chinese oil refinery to rescue almost 500 Chinese workers from the facility, which is being attacked by a group of rebels. After traversing the Highway of Death, one of Baghdad's most deadly areas, Luo and his team must transport them to the Green Zone, a safe location. Professor Cheng, who has access to the refinery's oil stockpile and carries the passcode, is a member of the group. Meanwhile, Chris, a former member of the Special Forces, agrees to his brother Henry's suggestion to kidnap a Chinese criminal who is being transported to the Green Zone. While Luo and his team transport the Chinese people to the Green Zone through the Highway of Death, Chris, Henry, and their team attack the Chinese buses and kidnap Professor Cheng and a few others. Henry leads them to Owen Paddock, the head of the rebels. Owen asks Chris to join them for reaping money, but Chris isn't interested in the same, only for him to part ways with the group. Owen kills Henry because the latter is young and desperate, which makes him not trustworthy enough for the former. Luo asks his team to take others to the green zone and tries to find Cheng with his daughter Mei. After killing Henry, Owen involves French officials in the predicament, hoping that they will kill Chris and settle the headache. The same officials confront Chris right after Luo confronts the American about the kidnapped Chinese people. They team up to scare off the French. Luo learns that Owen and his group are behind the kidnapping, while Chris realizes that the leader of the rebels killed his brother. Meanwhile, Owen takes Cheng and the others to the oil refinery. He wants Cheng to give him access to the reserve so that he can steal the oil from the plant. Cheng's son tells Owen that the USB drive that's required to gain access to the reserve is in the professor's bag, which is with May. He sends his men to locate and bring the same to him, only for them to arrive in the village Chris has been safeguarding. After a tense fight, Chris passes the bag to the men, only for Owen to gain access to the reserve in no time. Owen takes the USB drive and passcode he took from Professor Cheng's luggage to access the oil reserve and begins shipping oil from the refinery to enormous ships via international trade routes. He also uses trucks to transport the same. He commands one of his men to assassinate Cheng and the other Chinese hostages after getting what he wants from Cheng. In the meantime, Chris and Luo make their way to the refinery to save the professor. Chris hands Owen the professor's bag without a struggle, not out of fear or a desire to engage in combat. He wants to avoid a confrontation in the village he protects, which may have jeopardized the lives of the villagers and traumatized the kids in his house. Luo and Chris team up to fight Owen's men, who guard the refinery. They help each other during the fight to ensure that the rebels will not succeed in outnumbering them. Once they get into the control room of the refinery, the duo confronts Knox, who is asked to kill Cheng and other hostages. Luo and Chris make Knox exhaust his ammunition by firing a gun at him. Once they realize Knox is out of bullets, Luo fights him upon asking Chris to stop Owen. Luo uses his fighting skills to overpower the strong man. At the end of the fight, Luo seemingly kills Knox to save Cheng and his son. Because Owen doesn't care much about making sure the professor is dead, Luo is able to save Cheng. He just instructs one of the rebels to watch the professor and her son and assassinate them later. Owen doesn't really care whether Cheng dies or not because he destroys the USB drive, making it impossible for even Cheng to stop the oil flow, allowing Luo to save her and her son without truly endangering his life. Chris runs into Mei at the refinery after leaving Luo to stop Owen from escaping. Mei had driven up with the American's car. With the same, they pursue Owen but he manages to escape from them using his expensive vehicle. After saving Cheng and her son's lives, Luo arrives in the desert with the jet truck. Owen's oil transporting vehicles from the refinery are struck by the truck that Chris and May climb into at the same time. Owen loses the oil he had intended to trade on land when the oil trucks burst during the collision. 
After destroying the oil trucks, Luo targets Owen next. His truck crashes Owen's vehicle and pushes the same to a cliff. To save himself and his daughter Mei, Luo ties a rope to the ladder and jumps from the truck with her to a landing. Since the rope's other end is tied to Owen's vehicle, they get saved. Owen realizes that he could kill at least the daughter by moving his vehicle. However, by doing so, he loses control of the vehicle which is on the edge of the cliff. The vehicle, along with Owen, falls to the ground and kills him before Chris can kill him on his own to exact his vengeance for killing Henry. When Owen's vehicle becomes immobile at the edge of the cliff, he has a chance to save himself. He could have left the vehicle and sought refuge in the desert, while Lou, May, and Chris got stuck at the landing below the cliff. Owen, rather than saving himself, chooses to punish his adversaries, only to get killed due to the fall. His own viciousness rewrites his fate and ensures his death. Even after realizing that he will be dead, Owen tries to seek satisfaction in potentially causing May's death. Lou saves his daughter by untying the rope, which is nothing but the final nail in Owen's coffin. After getting rescued from the landing, Lou directs his men to the ships that have been storing oil from the refinery. Through Chris and Lou's intervention, the Chinese manage to secure the oil, putting an unsuccessful end to the heist. Luo and Chris make certain that Owen's hamlet has access to water for their daily requirements, after saving Cheng and ensuring his demise. Luo is informed that he has another mission to do. Chris nods in agreement when he invites him to join him. Since Chris no longer has any connections to the community where he has been living for years, he must be joining Luo. Due to the passing of his father and brother Henry, his existence at the location is full of terrible memories. He must be looking for a new beginning in his life, and perhaps joining Luo will allow him to do just that. Chris might no longer have to worry about his town, now that the rebels are either dead or helpless. After guaranteeing the villagers' safety and that they have enough resources to exist, he will depart from the same place. Chris may be keeping an eye on May, which is what led him to team up with Lu on this new operation. He must have learned from Lu and May's reunion that starting fresh is preferable to living in the past and suffering.